Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you all are having a great day. Um, <laughs> today is, it, it's pile on time. It's pile on. We're going to pile on Jerry and Stephen Jones for mismanagement, okay? We want to literally make them cry and feel bad and feel stupid about how they've run this organization. You know, it seems like the gloves are off right now, and this is just a bare-knuckle fight for the Dallas Cowboys' reputation. You know, all of these Hall of Fame players and things that literally should feel embarrassed by what the Joneses are putting on the field and thinking that this is the Dallas Cowboys, that Weedon Boys, where he and his son suck. They have screwed the pooch. They have lied to us. And, you know, don't get me wrong. They built an incredible marketing ability, okay? But we are literally like the Kardashians, a, a, a reality show. But here's one of those moves that I've kind of talked about. I've skirted the edges on it. But um, when I was doing some thinking there on the throne, I, I, I checked on this just to see how bad this is. Okay. When we sit here and we talk about there's no money. Okay. We're constantly, there's no money. But the Cowboys are at the bottom for the last eight years in spending in free agency. And of course, you know, they said, well, that's because we, we draft so well, we got to pay our guys and stuff. Okay, I, I, I see what you're saying, but your guys, you, the guys that you believe in, haven't done anything. See, see, th this, this is, this is what, what the guys that, that, that you should be believing in. Super Bowl, 71, 77, 92, 93, 95. Those are the kind of guys that you want to believe in. The guys that you've been re signing and paying and stuff. You know, as we sit here and look and listen to Troy Aikman literally say that CeeDee Lamb ain't able to run roots. He's lazy with the roots. Lazy. DeMarcus Ware talking about you need leadership even when you're injured from like, like you know, Mark Parsons and stuff who's looking to get paid and things. But this is the move that really burns you up because, you know, every time I see Derrick Henry running and, and seeing that he's on pace for 2,000 yards and like, 18 TDs that it literally makes me sick <clears throat> when I hear there's no money. You know, when you hear Jerry Jones literally say, you know, there's no players coming at this time of year and you're sitting here seeing, you know, wide receivers getting traded left and right teams making moves and getting people. But this is one of those moves that literally, I, I hope you understand like, like the tiger paw, the, the tiger paw. Ah, okay. You know, cause I'm mad. Okay. That has mystified me, okay? I was wondering because, see, I've talked about Trey Lance. And this is no, I, I don't feel bad. I mean, I, I feel bad for Trey Lance being in this position. I mean, I'm not, I don't feel bad that he's getting paid $5.4 million, $5.3 million for this year, right? He is the 10th highest hit on the Cowboys roster. And what really makes this bad is the Cowboys traded for a guy with the fourth round pick and, and basically said that that's nothing. Oh, you know, Jerry literally said, you know, it's just a fourth round pick, you know, to get a guy of stature of, of Trey Lance and things. Although we did use a fourth to get Dak Prescott. Well, that fourth round pick, you could have gotten one of the top running backs this year and maybe wouldn't have been 32nd in the running game or the Cowboys paid Trey Lance $5.3 million. Well, you know, Derrick Henry was only $8 million. Here's how bad this is. Here's how bad this is. I was wondering, I said, hmm, what are backup quarterbacks? I said, I wonder where Trey Lance is on the list. So the highest paid backup quarterback, okay, is Jarrett Stedham on Denver. The number two quarterback season opener for Sunday in Seattle. Uh, he is tied for quarterback top backup money. He gets $6 million a year, okay, for 2024, and is tied with Marcus Mariota and Tyrod Taylor, okay, as the highest paid non-rookie backup quarterbacks. 
Okay, so you say, okay, all right. Right behind that trio is Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson is getting 5.45, is fourth in the final year of his rookie contract he received from the New York Jets as the number two all pick. Denver is splitting Wilson's contract cost with the Jets. So Zach Wilson is getting 2.73 from New York and from um, Denver. Okay. Okay. Now, we're not talking about first-round draft picks that are sitting behind the bench because they're we're, we're talking about true backups. So let's go through the list a little bit more here because I don't know if you, 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 you're you understanding my point here or not. So we've got Jared Stenham, Marcus Mariota, and Tyrod Taylor making $6 million a year. Now, you can say Marcus Mariota, he's been an NFL starter, and he has a track record and things. You know, Tyrod Taylor, same thing. You know, he was doing great things in Seattle until they had the knee needle puncture his lung. And then at number four, right behind those guys, is Trey Lance at 5.3. Drew Locke with the Giants is $5 million. Joe Flacco is 4.5. Andy Dalton is 4 million. Okay. Jameis Winston is 4 million. Carson Wentz is 3.3 million. And Justin Fields, who, mind you, is the starter right now with the Steelers, is 3.23 million. So you're saying, Mark, why are you making a big deal about that? So, you know, he's fourth in compensation as a backup quarterback. Yeah. But he's not the backup quarterback. He's a step back from that. He is the third string quarterback. He is the third string quarterback who will walk away after the season and probably will never touch the field for the Dallas Cowboys, who is getting $5.3 million in a fourth round draft pick. Okay, what I want you to understand here, people, is Jerry Jones is paying five point three million dollars this year for Trey Lance after getting a fourth round draft pick for him. And Dak Prescott, whom they drafted, was six hundred and eighty thousand dollars the first year, the second year, the third year. And the four fear was $2 million. What they are paying Trey Lance right now to be the third string quarterback is what they paid for four years of Dak Prescott. Now, I guess one way you can look at that and say is, well, damn, they got a great bargain with Dak Prescott. That's some shrewd business guys right there. Or you can look at it and say, what the hell were we thinking? Because you say, Oh, a fourth-round draft pick, oh, it's no big deal. That's worth the risk. But you wouldn't look at a third-round draft pick for Devontae Adams? The fudge? The fudge? And let's, let's go back even further. How stupid do you look when you gave a number one to bring Amari Cooper here, fire-sailed him for a five, two and a half or two, three years later, they get a three? You overpaid. You undervalued. You are a laughing stock. The hell are you doing? So here's the problem for the Cowboys. We say trade Dak, trade Micah. Do you think the Cowboys would actually get value? Would I, the, the Herschel Walker trade was incredible. I guess we're paying for that trade from here on out because this is some bullshit. You literally say there's no money to try and bring in players right now that can start and help the team, but you're paying a guy $5.3 million in a fourth round draft pick to be the third string quarterback. So yes, this is pile on Monday or excuse me, pile on Thursday. Jerry and Steven Jones, they are the worst. I don't know how this team has won 
36 games the last three years. I, I just don't know. I just, I just don't know. And this goes back to the ineptitude, and, and we look at it and say, fire Mike McCarthy. Fire Mike McCarthy because, you know, he sucks as a coach. Well, you know what? Jerry, Jerry famously said, you know, with the team I put on the field, any number of 500 coaches could have won the Super Bowl. Well, with the team, the team that you're putting on the field right now there, Jerry, <laughs> any number of 500 coaches can lose with that team. See you guys in about a half an hour. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, you, you want to hear worse ones? Joe Flacco for the Colts. 4.5. And the 